This is my studio, this is where I work. To have a studio and to make great work and keep getting our work over the line, deadlines, you know, new ideas, experiment. There's lots going on here. It's not a dead space, it's one that's really used, packed. People are here a lot, there's a lot of interaction. Some of my pigments weren't mixing properly, but that failure in a way kind of was great because I was like, well, actually I would quite like them not working and not blending and just being quite chunky and they had this almost anything that I don't do by whoa and there's another <laughs> it's kind of often happens where things slide and slip and you can't control it that well I think it's all about failing in a way because through all our sort of failures we kind of keep learning and growing and trying new things and it not about it being a success or hitting the goal each time. It's sort of, that's not why we're doing it. We're do doing it, just, there's a bravery in making things, I think, because I don't, you know, and, and there's big questions, small questions, but it's to be able to do it in a space where you feel like your peers are there, make, doing, answering the same questions for themselves is just incredibly powerful. Sometimes you just don't have all the answers yourself. So you're kind of really drawing on a nice, kind of a deep pool of knowledge and experience that really extends the possibilities of what you make. I think it's, um, it's definitely got rid of that murky grey Yeah, it's got streak. rid of the yucky tones. Do you think it gets a bit light at the bottom though? So uh, maybe if I went to a, from that blue to a darker purple down here again. Yeah, I think that for me, that would be nice. I would like that darker, darker, like here. a dark mode. It's just really great to get good feedback. Especially, I think Lara's really great with colour. So in that sense, she's really helpful and definitely the one that I go to asking questions about that kind of thing. It's really, that's awesome. We talk all the time, we talk every day, um, but then once an idea is sort of formalised, then I kind of do it like a group crit, um, which I find really beneficial. And obviously everyone has different opinions, but there's still, there's something really interesting in the consistency of something coming through that you don't see from your own perspective. So that, that's what I find really important about being in a very open studio format. Artists are sort of progressively getting pushed out of inner city and we've got a really great group of people here. So yeah, it's unique. This is John Nicholson's studio. Can you show me what you're putting in for the show, maybe? Because is it in here? Is it hanging? Yeah, it is. Uh, so far, it's these two work. Some artists would think that if they ever had the opportunity, they'd build their own studio somewhere which would be huge and disconnected to the city. Or, you know, you, you hear of those artists and their studios look fantastic because you can't do that in the city. Um, I don't think I can, I can't think of that now because right, I, I need to be in this sort of environment, hopefully with these people? Well, we've been here for quite a few years, maybe I think I've been here for five years, but we're on a monthly lease. So we have no security at all. Uh, each day is, we're, we're pretty lucky, feel lucky to be here and it could be taken from under us at any time. So there's, there's never that sense of entitlement to a space. It's definitely one that we try to make the most of.